stimulator pattern to imitate one of the first prominent stonefly hatches that we see in our area, uh, the medium brown stoneflies. Um, they tend to have a dark body yellowish thorax, um, but this is just a standard template. Uh, you can tie this fly in various color combinations to imitate other stoneflies. Uh, it's very effective, um, pretty simple to tie, and uh, we'll get started here. We're going to start out with a size 10 uh, stonefly or terrestrial hook. I just happen to be using a 200R from Tiamco. Uh, we're going to use some yellow thread, uh, 6 aught. We'll start our fly, putting our thread here in the middle. It's important to comb out the under hair. So we can maintain the fly's floatability. The tail does not have to be that long, but you want to start the body right around the barb of the hook. We'll tie that in, we'll come under the fibers to give them a little flare, one wrap. We're going to carry this material up to add some bulk to the body of the fly. I'm going to stop just short of where we're going to start the thorax. For the body of this fly, we're going to use some peacock earl. Tie it in by the tips. Carry it back to the tail. At this point, we're going to also add our haggle which we pre-gauged. I want the tips to extend just to about the tip of the barb. Bring our thread forward. Beginning of our thorax. And we're going to take our peacock earl, give it a little twist to form a rope. Palmer it forward to our tie-in point. Now we're going to take our hackle and palmer it forward through the body. Tie this off and then just leave it to finish our fly with. Next, we're going to add a little crystal flash for the underwing just to accent our fly. Trim out any excess material. Bring it back to the tie-in point where we'll add our wing. For the wing, we're going to use elk hair like we did for the tail. Stack our tips. Comb out any under fur. Tie this wing in so it extends just about to 
the tip of the tail, maybe a little short of that. One loose wrap, followed up with a couple tighter wraps, and let's wind through our hair to help to secure it, keep it from spinning on the hook. Trim out the excess. Clean out any stray hairs that may be encroaching on the eye hook. And then secure the area with your thread. Now we can cut our crystal flash just inside the tip of the wing. Next step is to dub the thorax. We're going to use a yellow or slightly orange colored dubbing. Trim out any stray hairs. Now we're going to bring our hackle around. One complete turn in front of the wing. And two to three turns coming forward through the thorax, finishing right at the eye of the hook. finish tool and there we have it very versatile stimulator pattern